Well, good morning and welcome to The Prophetic Edge. My name is Ashley Elmas and I am standing in for Dr. Russ this morning. I'm just going to wait a couple minutes until people come online here. Well, I'm, I'm excited to spend some time with you and I'm going to share prophetically out of a dream I had last night in a couple moments. But I, I uh, help Dr. Russ and Pastor May with the network of ministries here in the United States. And I assist Dr. Russ with the International Coalition of Prophetic Leaders. And more than that, I'm just, a, like many of you watching, I'm just a spiritual daughter in Eagle Worldwide Ministries. And I, I serve them as a spiritual daughter. So I, I'm excited to be here with you, with you this morning. And let's just lift our, our hearts up to the Lord. Father, I thank you for the prophetic edge. I thank you, Lord, that Dr. Russ has been mentoring people prophetically online on Wednesdays, week after week. Father, I thank you for the time he has set aside, and I know that he doesn't take that lightly, and Lord, I know that it's such an important part of the week to him. And Father, we just lift him and Pastor Maeve up right now, Lord, as they're serving you in ministry. Father, I thank you for everyone that's been watching the prophetic edge, everyone that's been being touched by the prophetic anointing, everyone that's been being touched by the prophetic uh, mentoring on Wednesdays. Father, you know the season, you know the moment, you know what your people need. And Father, I just thank you that Holy Spirit is touching people's ears watching, touching people's eyes watching. And Father, I thank you for that rhema word of the now, that rhema word for the moment. And Father, we just hand this session over to you right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'm going to share prophetically out of a dream I had last night, and I think it's important to understand what God is saying in the moment and then understand the tactic of the enemy in the moment. So this is the dream I had last night. I was, um, I was in a store, and, you know, I didn't always dream. I... Um, I met Dr. S and Pastor May when I was 14 years old and when he prayed for me and he laid hands on my, on my head, I supernaturally caught the gift of prophecy. I started getting dreams and visions. And the anointing is so much more caught than it is taught. And Dr. S is starting a new mentoring group and in the mentoring group is gonna be majoring in the prophetic and minoring in leadership. If you are interested in being in a personal mentoring group with Dr. Russ, he's gonna be starting at November the 1st. A lot of applications have come in. Please let him know if you are interested in that. You wanna email him at bro.russ, B-R-O dot Russ at eagleworldwide.com. You wanna do that right away. We've had a lot of people interest in it, but we are starting soon and getting information. So if you are interested in that prophetic mentoring, um, please let him know right away. I just wanted to put that little plug in here as I'm sharing the dream. Uh, I was in a store and I was picking up some Christmas presents and it was close to Christmas time and my car had backed up right into the store. And I popped the trunk and the woman who was serving me, she was putting what I purchased in the trunk of the car. I look and she's putting way more in the trunk than what I purchased. She was putting in some different gifts that I didn't buy and she was putting in wrapping paper and tissue paper and I thought that's so nice that she's loading up my trunk even with things I didn't purchase. It was quite a lot of stuff that she was putting in my trunk. The scene changes and I'm walking through a house and I'm walking to a bedroom and I could hear people telling me it's this day and it's this time, it's this day and it's this time. And in my heart, I knew what day it was and I knew what time it was. And I knew the people telling me what day and time it was, it wasn't right. I walked into the bedroom to lay down and someone who I knew who's like a sister to me, she came over and she whispered and she said, Ashley, there's people that are trying to deceive you. And I said, I, I know, thank you for telling me. I really appreciate that. And the dream went into some different sequences. But when I woke up, 
I knew what the Lord was saying to me, and I, I'm saying it, I'm sharing this with you this morning because it's un, we need to understand what God is saying, what God is doing in the moment, and then understand the tactic of the enemy so that we can pray, so that we can fight. And I really believe prophetically right now that we are stepping into a moment of breakthrough that we're stepping into a breakthrough season, we're stepping into a breakthrough time, that you're gonna see waves of different types of breakthrough begin to come into the body of Christ, begin to come into the remnant. We're gonna to begin to see breakthrough personally, individually, in families, in relationships, those things that we've been pressing into, those things that we've been uh, waiting for, we are definitely in a season of breakthrough. And in 2023, we're gonna see that. You're gonna see waves of breakthrough. Some will be bigger than others. But the tactic of the enemy in my dream was to tell me that it wasn't the right day and it wasn't the right time. And you see, he is the prince of the air. And we have to make sure that we're understanding his tactic. And you see, the enemy can loose an assignment and his tactic is different with every person, with every body group, with every church, with every family, depending on what our strengths and our weaknesses are, depending on the things that we've battled in the past. So you need to understand and be aware of your surroundings. And God is telling me right now, keep your head down, keep your heart down and keep your eyes on him. Because the enemy wants to say, it's not a season of breakthrough and he doesn't want you to see the breakthrough. And he'll do everything that he can to rob you of joy because if he can rob you of your joy, he can rob you of your strength. And the word of God says that the joy of the Lord is your strength, okay? So right now he's trying to tell you it's not the right time and to take you out of the right timing of God. And there's an assignment to bring you out of right alignment with him. So let's just pray that off of us right now, okay? Father, I just thank you for everyone watching the program. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that's watching in the future. And Father, I just decree and declare a season of breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you that you said that we're coming into a season of breakthrough, that there's going to be breakthrough on every front. Father, I just thank you for breakthrough in relationships, breakthrough in families, breakthrough in churches. Father, I thank you that things that have been held up, that you're just causing dams to be unblocked right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I lift up everyone watching right now and I just declare breakthrough over them and their bloodline in the name of Jesus. And I bind every spirit right now in Jesus' name that would wanna take us out of timing. I bind every spirit right now in the name of Jesus that would want to come and harass and bring us out of alignment right now in Jesus' name. Father, I bind our minds to the mind of Christ now in the name of Jesus. And Father, I call them into alignment. I call them into perfect timing now. Their life into perfect timing. Their ministry into perfect timing. Father, we just open up our hearts and say, Lord, we just thank you for perfect timing, perfect alignment. Lord, you're the one that knows it. You're the one that brings it. Father, I just hold on to that season of breakthrough. And Father, I thank you as though we know that we're holding on to you, but you're holding on to us so much more than we're holding on to you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. So we need to understand the tactic of the enemy for us individually in this season and make sure that we're holding on to joy and we gotta fight because it's a moment of breakthrough and you've got to hold on to those promises of God. You've got to war with those prophetic words that he has said to you. If he said it's a season of breakthrough, we've got to begin to speak it. We've got to begin to declare it. See, when we begin to speak things that aren't that and we begin to talk about different situations, we're cursing ourselves. And we're, we talk and we say things and we don't even realize we're cursing ourselves. Father, all right, now I bind up every word that's ever been spoken over your life. I bind up words that have been spoken over my life. Father, I just bind word curses right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we bind up those words now in Jesus' name. Father, anything that's been spoken over our lives, sometimes, Lord, we don't realize, we don't realize when we say things, the hurt intention. Lord, I bind up those words now in Jesus' name. I bind up every word curse. I bind up every charismatic witchcraft prayer, whereas people are praying their way and what they want and not praying the will of God. I bind those words now in Jesus' name. Lord, we send them back to the sender. But Lord, let blessings rain on every single person that's sending them, Lord. But let, let blessings rain right now in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you 
right now. We're going to purpose in our hearts to speak your will, to speak your way, to hold on to the thoughts and the purposes and the plans of God in our mind. In Jesus' name, amen. As you can tell, I'm in a warfare mood. <laughs> I hope you are too, because God is calling us to war right now. As we're pressing into 2023, it's boots on the ground. It's moving forward. He's calling the intercessors to get up off the floor and go to war right now. It's an exciting moment. It's an exciting time, but we have to have eyes to see and ears to hear. What is he saying? Breakthrough. It's a breakthrough moment. Hold on to it. Believe it. Declare it. Receive it. And when the tactics of the enemy come, realize what they are for what they are. Hold on to your ground. Don't be distracted by the words that are being said in this moment and press through with everything you got. This week, a tenacity came into my spirit. It doesn't matter what the enemy does. I'm going to rise up about it. It doesn't matter what the enemy says. It doesn't matter how he tries to push me left and right. I'm not going to stop what God called me to do. I'm going to make sure that as aggressive as he's being, I'm going to be so much more aggressive in God. Amen. So I challenge you to do the exact same thing because it's an exciting moment. It's an exciting moment. I'm seeing a couple people on here. Pastor Victoria, I see you on. Pastor Victoria Irving from, from Canada. Pastor Victoria, as soon as I saw your name pop up, I heard something in my spirit. Pastor Victoria, I heard the Lord say, get ready. He says, there's a new anointing for you in this season. He says, I'm going to take your discernment of spirits to a completely different level. He says, you're going to begin to feel very passionately about different things. He says, but your discernment of spirits, he says, I'm going to take it to a different level in this season. He says, you're going to begin to look at people and understand what needs to get prayed off. And he says, you're going to begin to... Uh, feel that anointing come upon you in worship. He says there's an intensity that is about to come. And he says there's going to be an intensity that comes with a passion. He says your love for people is going to go to another level, but so is your discerning of spirits. And he says this new anointing that's going to come upon you, he says it's going to come in a very... Uh, I see you beginning to preach, and as you preach, so you can feel spirits begin to leave the room. And the Lord says, just like in seasons gone by, you have seen a lot of different demonic activity. He says you're going to begin to feel angelic activity. He says there's an anointing that's going to come upon you that's going to activate situations, activate people. It's going to be an anointing that begins to activate, and you're going to begin to feel it in a room. He says, so get ready because I'm bringing you into a different season, but the season that I'm bringing into you, into you is another level of discerning of spirits, says the Lord. Father, I just thank you. Shauna, Miss Shauna Booth. Father, I thank you, Lord, for Miss Shauna. Lord, I thank you for her heart in Mexico. Um, uh, Shauna, I hear the Lord say that you're coming into a suddenly season. And the Lord says, just like I have given you breakthroughs in days gone by, even with papers and visas and documents, he says, I'm going to bring you into a season of suddenly, says God. And the Lord says that there's been some things that have been held up. And you said, Lord, I've waited for A, B, and C. And he says, you're going to begin to see things begin to come together in this season. He says, it's almost been like there's been a lot lot of different pieces of the puzzle laying on the floor. And he says, you're going to watch and see. And I hear click, click, and click. He says there's going to be three things that come together in this next season. And he says all of a sudden pieces of the puzzle are going to begin together, come together. And he says the fullness of the vision that I gave to you. He says I'm about to give you a different level. I'm about to give you a different layer. I'm about to give you a different piece of it. He says, I couldn't do it before because some things weren't quite ready. And he says, I'm lining it up now. I'm preparing it now. I'm about to give you fresh revelation, but not just revelation, the understanding and the wisdom to walk it forward. Get ready. A season of suddenlies is coming your way, says the Lord. Amen. Well, I tell you what, the prophetic anointing, it's so much more caught than it is taught. And even as 
those prophetic words go forward, you can just shut your eyes and say, Father, I just thank you for a fresh prophetic anointing to come into my spirit. I thank you, Lord, for a fresh prophetic anointing to blow to me and through me. Father, I just thank you for everyone watching. Lord, I plead the precious blood of Jesus over them. Father, I thank you for a transference of the anointing. Lord, I thank you that you're shaking people in this season, that you're waking people in this season. Lord, that you're positioning them. Lord, and I just declare that next level of the prophetic to be on them. Father, I thank you for dreams and for visions. Father, I thank you that just like in Eagle Worldwide Ministries, how we believe in that impartation, Father, I thank you over the sound waves. Next level of the prophetic now, dreams and visions now, discerning of spirits now. Father, let it be soaked into their bones. And Lord, I declare it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Oh, Betty Benjamin. Father, I thank you, Lord, for Miss Betty. I don't even know who, I don't know where you're from, Miss Betty, but as soon as I saw your name come up, I was just going to go into something else. But Father, I thank you for Betty Benjamin. Father, I thank you for what's happening in her life and season. And I hear the Lord say, Betty, uh, dreams and visions are going to begin to come. And he says that dreams and visions are going to begin to flow. And he says, I'm going to begin to develop even a different vocabulary with you, even in this season. He says, where you'll see a face and you'll know what it means. And he says, you'll begin to see different colors. And the Lord says, I'm going to begin to develop a vocabulary with you. He says, because you're prophetic and you're uh, prophetic even in a very unique way. And the Lord says it's happening conversationally now. And he says, I'm going to bring people to you in this next season. One by one, I'm going to bring them. And he says, they're going to begin to share their story and share their heart. And the Lord says, I'm going to drop things in your spirit, words of wisdom. He says, you're going to begin to speak to them. And he says, there's going to be words that come out of you that pull the sick things out of people's hearts. He says, get ready. Another level of prophetic is going to come upon you, but also an anointing of inner healing when people come one by one. And two by two, amen and amen. Well, I tell you what, I uh, I love being here with you guys. Dr. Russ will be here on the Prophetic Edge next week on Wednesday. We have a, a brand new events page on Eagle Worldwide Ministries, and we have uh, minister. We have his events, Dr. Russ and Pastor Mave's events between now and the new year, all up online. You can take a look at that at eagleworldwide.com on the events page. Dr. Russ is going to be in Saskatchewan at uh, the beginning of November. He's going to be in Yorkton, Saskatchewan with um, Randy King, November 4th, 5th, and 6th. And then from there, he's going to be over at Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan with Ron and Lorna, Pastor Ron and Lorna at Twin Lakes Ranch. Uh, Dr. Russ is going to be uh, at the ICAL November the 17th. He's going to be speaking on a prophetic panel with Pastor with Apostle John Kelly at the International Coalition of Apostolic Leaders. Uh, at the end of November, Dr. Russ and Pastor Maeve are going to be in Chatham, Ontario on uh, November 26th and 27th, and they'll be speaking at the International uh, Assemblies of Canada Pastors Luncheon, and then they'll be speaking at Pastor Jan uh, Farner's Church on Sunday morning. So you don't want to miss that as they're doing itinerant ministry. God is definitely opening up the different nations and cities and getting itinerant ministry back out right now. Let me see. Tell you what, people are coming up online here, and then all of a sudden I see someone's name, and then the Lord's speaking to my heart. Nancy Whitaker, Father, it's so nice to see you, Miss Nancy. I miss you. Please tell your hubby I, I, I love him. So good to see you guys. Father, I thank you for Nancy. Father, I thank you for the season that she's in. And I heard, I heard Nancy, I heard the Lord say that he's focusing on the family. And I saw this big banner and it said, focus on the family. And the Lord says that there's some things that I've been working on the background. He said, I've been working on some things behind the scenes. He says, there's some things right now that I'm shifting and I'm changing in people's hearts. And he says, you're going to see how I was focusing on the family. He says, you're going to see some different miracles that I'm working on. He says, there's going to be some hearts changed and some minds renewed at the end of the season. And the Lord says, there's going to be some people even come back and there's going to be some reconciliation and restoration. He says, get ready. He says, there's going to be some miracles. And I see some ground being tilled. I see some ground being turned and I see a garden 
and I see some plants being transplanted, some flowers that were in the shade being brought into the sunlight. He says, you're gonna see how I was focusing on it all along. He says, there's some things that are deep in your heart and you're gonna watch and see how you're gonna come into a season of great breakthrough and break out, but I'm focusing on the family, says the Lord. Well, I love you guys. It's been such a, an honor and a privilege to be with you on the prophetic edge. If you came on a little bit late and you missed what I shared about that, about that dream, about the season, the breakthrough that we're in, and the tactic of the enemy, what he's trying to do, you want to watch the beginning of that because it's a moment right now to keep our head down, to keep our heart down, and keep our eyes on him and declare that season of breakthrough and understand what the enemy is doing. Be aware of what he is doing and make sure that we're continuing to press in with all of our might into 2023 because we're gonna be seeing waves of breakthrough. I love you guys, God bless you. Join Dr. Russ next week on The Prophetic Edge. Have a great week, bye-bye.